Today I'm going to share with you three little known chart tricks that are going to save you time when you create Excel reports that include graphs. Now I'm curious, do you know all three? Now I say little known here because anytime I'm giving a training and I show one of these, I hear, hmm, I wish I knew that before, or is this brand new? Now none of these are brand new, but they're not that easy to find either. So let's get started with tip number one. Stop your chart from disappearing. Now this can happen if the columns in which you have data are hidden or grouped together. So let's say we have a chart on this simple data set. I'm going to insert one quickly, just highlight the area, use the shortcut key Alt F1. This inserts my default chart type, which in my case is a column chart. Now watch this. I'm going to hide these. I'm going to highlight this, right mouse click and hide the columns. My chart disappears. To stop this from happening, all you have to do is to adjust one simple setting. That setting can be found under Select Data. So just right mouse click on your chart, go to Select Data, go to Hidden and Empty Cells, and put a check mark beside Show Data in Hidden Rows and Columns. And we can see the chart appearing in the background. Now this works also for filtered as well as grouped data. So if I just unhide this and group these instead, go to data and click on group. If this is now grouped, the chart is still visible. Tip number two, snap chart to grid. Let's say you want to snap your chart right to this grid here. It can be a little bit difficult to find the exact position with the mouse. What you can do is to hold down the Alt key while you have your mouse on the chart and you're moving your chart. So check this out. I'm just moving the chart like this. Now I'm going to hold down the Alt key and it snaps it into grid. And then you can let go of your mouse and let go of your Alt key. Now in case this doesn't work for you, check your setting here. So go to Format while your chart is selected. Go to Align and click on Snap to Grid. So this is a toggle. Now I clicked on it again. So now if I hold down the Alt key, it doesn't snap into the grid anymore. If I go back and click on this again, now I hold down the Alt key, then it does snap into grid. Tip number three, adding text boxes or shapes into your chart. Let's say I want to improve the visualization of this chart. And instead of having the title like this, I would like to have a shape in there that includes the title of my chart. So if I would just insert any shape by going to insert shapes and clicking on this rectangle here and just drawing it out here, what happens is that Excel inserts just another shape on top of this, but they are two independent shapes. So if I move my chart, that shape stays behind. If I move the shape, my chart stays behind. To get them to be together, I would have to group the shapes together. And you can do that by clicking on your shape and then holding that control, clicking on the chart, right mouse click and grouping them together. But there is a trick to avoid this. What you can do instead is this. Let me just remove the shape first. I'm going to remove the title from here as well. It's important that you first click on your chart before you insert the shape. This way, Excel includes it as a part of your chart. So you don't have to group them together anymore. So check this out. This is now highlighted. I'm going to go to insert shapes and select my rectangle shape and insert it here. Okay, I'm just going to expand this a little bit. Let me just bring this down. So now check this out. I'm just going to click away. I'm going to click on the chart and I'm going to move the chart and the shape comes with it automatically. If I click here and move it, my chart moves with it as well, right? So they are seen as one shape. Now I can update the settings for this shape. I'm just going to click on this, go to format, remove the shape outline, change the shape fill, 
and I'm going to add text to it by going to the formula bar here, typing in equals and referencing myself. Now I can also adjust the formatting of the font. I'm just going to go to home, change the color to white and make it bigger. Okay, so now this is one chart. I'm going to click on this and I can move it as one object. This avoids the extra step of grouping the different objects together. So these were three chart tips. Let me know in the comments below if any of these were new to you. Also share any tips of your own, anything you wish you'd known earlier, add it in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video, consider subscribing.